I'm going to run you through one of my favorite liquidation sites, and that is 888 Lots. Now, you can buy individual stuff on 888 Lots and literally do the product research yourself, like you were going to sell it back on Amazon, or you can buy lots and pallets of items super, super cheap. But before I run you through both of those and how to actually operate on this site, I want to take you through the business model because a lot of people have this notion that they're going to, you know, buy liquidation pallets or buy liquidation and flip them back online and it's going to happen overnight. And it is obviously you're getting great ROIs. It's an investment though. It is a business. Okay. So I want to go through the business model so you understand, you know, to curb your expectations, it's not going to happen overnight, but it will happen if you're patient, if you know where to sell them, and if you know how to price your inventory and what to expect out of it, okay? So first and foremost, where can you resell these liquidation pallets for a profit? Well, I mainly sell them back on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. Now, you can sell them on Amazon as well, but it does obviously, that item you have to make sure matches the product detail page entirely. So two things about that. You can either source individual items and check the ASINs, I'll show you that here in a second, and see if there's a profit to resell them back on Amazon. Or you can buy a liquidation pallet, and some of those items might have corresponding ASINs on Amazon, which you can then resell back on online for a profit. Now, the majority of the items in most of the pallets, at least in my experience and what I've seen on this site and a lot of the other sites, aren't going to have profitable Amazon products, although you are getting great quality inventory with the Amazon listing, so you can take the Amazon product pictures and the description, you don't need to create your own description or take any new high quality images, right? You're already getting the uh, the high quality images from that actual palette and those actual Amazon listings. So they don't have profitable high selling Amazon listings, but you can take those items that you're getting for like 50 cents or a dollar 50 or like three bucks, depending on the palette that you're getting and resell them back on Poshmark, eBay and Mercari for a ridiculously high profit margin. I've started to scale this up and I've really started to notice that this is not a game. This is not a trick. This can be turned into a legit legitimate business, but you have to know how to operate it. So let's touch a little bit more about the nitty gritty and how to actually do so. So how do you want to approach this? Okay. This is not short term. This is not, you know, some hack or trick. Okay. You are building an actual reselling business when you're buying liquidation. Okay. You also have to think about an inventory system. I've already made an inventory uh, system video. I'll drop that as a card up in the right hand corner if you want to check it out. And I'll also link it in the description below. You want some inventory system if you're planning on scaling up on any of these other sites that aren't Amazon. But if you're shipping into FBA, you don't really need an inventory system, obviously, because you can leverage their warehouse and their distribution. But if you're selling back on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, if you plan on scaling, you want to get organized because if you're not organized in the beginning, you're not going to be organized with hundreds or thousands of units on those sites when you're actually fully scaled, okay? You also want to think of buying, you know, in whether you're buying liquidation or buying bulk or buying anything, right? Buying coupon products or cashback products to resell on these sites. Think of it as an investment into your business. It's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to spend $150 on a pallet and then get that $150, uh, 150 bucks back within a day or two, right? It's an investment into a legitimate business. You're building an actual re reselling business, right? So I'm going to run you through two examples here. Let's say hypothetically that, you know, these are two examples of, of typical ways that I approach pallets and how I typically sell them and the numbers here, right? So you have, you know, legitimate expectations on how much you can spend on a pallet, how many items you're getting, what your profit per item is going to potentially be and how it actually unfolds, okay? So let's hypothetically say with example number one, you buy a lot of 95 items off 888 lots or any of the other liquidation sites that I cover. I've covered many of them. Check the liquidation playlist if you want in-depth tutorials of how to buy liquidation pallets from liquidation sites, okay? I'll drop that up in the right-hand corner right now and also link it in the description below. So that is approximately 263 per unit. What you want to do is list them on all platforms. So that's Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. Now we're not, the Amazon thing, just to get it out of the way really fast, if you're buying pallets, the same thing goes with pallets because it's going to show you the breakdown of each individual pallet. So let's click on a pallet right here um, just to kind of show you. And this is strictly with 888 lots. It's probably my favorite liquidation site. So if you scroll down, it's going to give you the ASIN of everything and, and you know, obviously all the details. So the same goes when you're looking into pallets as well. Now, if you want to go to individual items and sort through and look at the individual items, it's going to tell you the price that it costs you. You're going to be able to go to the Amazon listing and check it out to see if it's profitable. This one doesn't have one. That's a bad example, but you get the picture. And it's also going to tell you, you know, all the information so that you know if it's profitable on Amazon and if you want to ship it directly from 888's 
uh, from 888 into Amazon, right? Or if you want to get it first and list it Merchant Fulfilled or whatever you want to do. So I don't typically do that, although you can. I've been kind of moving towards reselling my own, you know, building my own reselling business on Amazon Poshmark, and, or excuse me, eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Although you can source for Amazon, I just typically have moved away from that. I source more bulk deal. I source more books. I source more uh, wholesale for Amazon and FBA. I've moved uh, a lot of the cash back, the coupon, and the liquidation to my own distribution on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. That's how I approach it. You don't have to approach it that way, but that's what's working for me very well currently, okay? So like I said, you want to list them on all platforms. Uh, you want to list them on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. What I recommend that you do is hop on a multi-channel listing software like List Perfectly. It's going to charge you monthly, whether that's depending on the plan, whether that's 20, 40, or whatever, right? It's a lot better. Now, you don't have to if you don't want to, if you're just starting out and you don't want to dr drop you know, money on software like that, then you can do it manually. Just obviously copy and paste those listings in there. Just keep in mind that you definitely want an inventory system so you can delete them off of the other platforms once you obviously sell it. Let's say hypothetically, it sells on eBay. You want to delete that same listing off Am or off uh, eBay and Poshmark as well, or off Mercari and Poshmark, because you don't want somebody buying it on that site and then you not having it, having to cancel orders. Okay, canceling orders isn't that serious on Poshmark and Mercari, although eventually it will get your account shut down if you cancel too many too quickly. On eBay, they take it very very seriously, so you need to take it seriously too. That's also why I recommend having an inventory system. Okay, so. You want to cross post whether you do it manually. I recommend that you do it uh, with a list perfectly. It's great software. It not only will it cross post just by posting once, so it'll po post to all those platforms, but it'll also manage your inventory and delete the ones off the other ones for you as well. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Now let's say hypothetically with this lot that you spent, you know, 263 a unit. You have 95 items now, and you've listed them across all platforms. It costed you 250 bucks. So let's say hypothetically 12 uh, or 20 items sell within the first two weeks of listing, right? And this is typically, you know, these are not, you know, concrete numbers, but this is typically how I see lots selling and, and how quickly they move, assuming you're buying decent lots and decent products. One example of a horrible lot that I bought was like 350 bucks on like 150 units or something like that. And I was like, I scored big, but it was like housewares and it was like old housewares and nobody bought them. They sold super slow and for super low profit margins. So if you're buying clothes or you're buying things that should be in demand on multiple platforms, then obviously that, that goes without saying. If you're willing to spend a little bit more, even if it's like three bucks to five bucks a unit potentially on these liquidation sites, you're gonna have more higher in-demand products. But just like I said, do your research and you'll start to know it. Um, and, and just even if you buy a, a pallet, you're getting super cheap stuff, you're gonna have quality inventory that will sell eventually. So my, my rule of thumb is go after clothing, go after shoes, go after things in high demand, go after jeans, a lot. You can find a lot of those um, and, and top brands, especially on liquidation sites. So let's say 20 of those items sell within the first two weeks. Uh, you know, of listing all 95 for an average of $8 profit. Now you have $160 profit because you netted $8 profit off those items. Maybe they sold for like 15 or 20 or, or you know, seven. And then after fees, you averaged out to over $8 or about $8 profit. So now you have 160 back on the 250 that you spent. You're 90 bucks in the hole uh, currently, right? So maybe after the entirety of the first month after listing them, then you sell 20 more of them and the, a lot of your higher end stuff because you priced high and you waited sold for an average profit of $12, right? So you have 20 more now that sold. Now you have 40 sold in general and now you have 240 from the second 20. So now in total, you have 400 bucks. Now you're, now you're netted $150 profit margin, right? So it, caught, it took you a month. You had to wait a month to get there. It didn't happen overnight. You spent 250. You made it 400 back. Now you have $150 profit in the month. Oh, and by the way, you still have 55 items of your inventory to still sell for a profit. Okay, so it does not happen overnight. This is a business. It's a great business model, but you have to be patient. You want to think of it as an investment into your inventory and into your business. One key thing that I see a lot of people making is do not price yourself out of your profit. Okay, don't drop your prices too quickly. Don't be impatient. Be patient and don't price yourself out of profit. List high. This is a formula that works for me all the time. List high. So let's say maybe the retail value is 40 bucks. List it at 50. Slowly build interest. Depending on the platform, maybe that's sharing on Poshmark. Maybe that's promoting to uh, site-wide on Mercari. Maybe that's relisting or, or you know accumulating likes or watchers on eBay, right? So list high, build interest, and then make offers to simulate urgency and value in order to sell more, okay? Now, I have videos on all those platforms down in the description, how to sell more on eBay 
how to sell more on Poshmark, how to sell more on Mercari, and how to sell more on Amazon. If you want to check out any of those videos, they are linked down at the bottom of the description. Watch, you know, what? literally put them all in watch later, watch them all. They will help you sell more on those platforms. It's all the strategies that I use to do so. Now, one thing that I will say is people are always like, well, you know, all 95 of those items won't sell. And that could be very true, right? It might take a year for all 95 of them to sell. Maybe you're, you know, 40 of them in demand sold really quickly. And then maybe in the next month, only 20 more items sell, right? Now you sold 60, but maybe then you're up 500 bucks on the pallet. And then slowly, what it, what, it, what it will be is as the rest of those items sell, maybe you have, what is it, 34 more now or 35 more now? So maybe those slow, slow sell, uh, sell slowly, but you're already profited 500 bucks and it's a steady drip of cash flow, okay? It's a business. Think of it as a business. Now, let's go through another example. These are a little bit higher end clothing. This is one that I actually just recently bought. Not same, same exact uh, numbers, but pretty close to it. So... You buy a lot of 30 items. I think these were jeans, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so 155 for 30 items, which is about 517 per unit. And they were top brand jeans. So you wanna list them on all platforms, just like I said, cross post, whether you wanna do it manually or with a list perfectly software like that's multi, multi channel listing and manages your inventory. Let's hypothetically say that four of those sold in the first week went for an average profit of 17 per item. So now I have 68 bucks back on my 155 after the first week. Then 15 more sell in the entirety of the first month. So average profit of those were about 15 bucks. Now I have 225 plus 68. So if we take 225 plus 68 and we take the difference on the 155, I'm netting 138 bucks after the first month on this pallet, okay? Now I had to wait a month to get there, to recap. I also now still have 11 items in my inventory that will sell slowly, whether they sell within the next week, whether they sell within the next month, whether they sell within the next year, it doesn't matter because I have them free in my inventory now, listed on the platforms, so when they sell, it will be a steady drip of cash flow and I'm already profitable, okay? So it doesn't happen overnight. It is a business. Think of it as an investment into inventory. Again, don't price yourself out of profit. Don't price yourself out of profit. If you appreciate that message, drop it in the comment section down below so the people watching this are reminded not to drop not to drop their prices too fast. Be patient and don't price yourself out of profit, okay? List high, build interest, make offers to simulate urgency and value, and then you will sell more, okay? So that's the net, the nitty gritty of the business model. Now I'd recommend that you check out 888 lots. You can see the value right here just on the fixed price lots. I haven't even gotten into like building your own lots or checking out any of the other lots. You can kind of do that yourself. You're, it's pretty self-explanatory, but just look at right here, 93 cents per unit, $28 right here for 30 units. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty solid fixed price box, okay? Now these are obviously uh, women's, you know, you have, to, you have to do a little bit of research on the actual products, so whether they're jeans, whether they're like women's clothes, whether they're men's clothes, whether they're shoes, you might wanna check into the platform and look at the competition on that, on that platform for those specific brands. But if you're getting stuff super cheap like this, I mean, 190 per unit for 41 units, I mean, guys, the, the profit margins here are ridiculous.